Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we have more Pokemon Go cards that we're going to unbox. Um, I'm sorry about the sun glare today. It is a little bit warm um, and the sun just so happens to shine right through my window here. Um, but it's not so bad because I do love how the cards sparkle in the sun. The hollow really, really stands out. Um, so today we have the special collection of Team Instinct. As I've said before, this was the team that I chose whilst playing Pokemon Go. I absolutely love Zapdos. And this is the team that I went with, so obviously I wanted to get my team's badge. So it comes with six booster packs included. We can see we also have Spark, who was kind of like the trainer for the um, team. We see we do get our promo cards, we get our pins. And again, on the back, we have a full sketch of Spark there and everything that's included. So we're just going to get this opened up. Once we remove the the plastic from that, we do get our card about Pokemon Go, um, how to install it and things like that. And then we do get our little plastic unit with our boosters in it. So we take the first layer of plastic off and try and get our card out. They are a little bit difficult sometimes. But we do have our Spark Full Art card there. And you can see it is a trainer card. We have the name along the top. And we have this gorgeous, gorgeous Full Art. And you can see in the bottom corner here it is a promo as well. So I believe you can only get these in the three packs. And there is one for each team. So if this isn't your team, that's fine. Um, you can get your own one. And it also comes with the trainer as well. So we're just going to get that nice and sleeved. The hollow looks gorgeous in the sun. I really, really love it. We do also get our um, Pokemon pins. You can see the little Pokeballs on the back. And we do have our gorgeous little yellow Zapdos design there. Absolutely love that. That's awesome. And then we do get our six booster packs. We get three on each side. So we're going to look at opening those up today as well. I'm just going to move the plastic out of the way. So like I say, it comes with the six boosters. So we're just going to jump into them really and um, open them up. They each come with ten cards included. I absolutely love the packs for these. I think they're a really awesome design. Um, I have opened up some Pokemon Go cards, but not many. Um, so I'm happy to add anything new to the collection really. So hopefully we can get something cool inside of these. I'm going to take our four and the energy is fire. So there are some really, really cool designs in this one compared to um, some of the standard Pokemon. So we did get a spark again there, very cool. Because some of these designs are based on the actual game. So you can see here we have the spinner act in a real world um, kind of setting. Again, on a swing, we have a few of the other art styles mixed in. Um, but I do really like the um, art styles on some of them and the real worldness. So we did get a wind pod there in a reverse hollow and a standard. And our rear is the hollow Pikachu. Again, very, very beautiful shine there. So anything that sparkles, we do throw in a penny sleeve. I like to keep the dust from them. Looks like I've got my penny sleeves upside down. So we do have the hollow Pikachu. We're going to pop everything back in its boosters just to keep it nice and safe. And then I will pop it into a binder later. So pack two. So there are some um, special cards that's available in these packs. Um, they do have the ditto cards that we need to keep an eye out for. 
the energy is steel. So again, we do have like the designs with the pokey stops in the background. Um, we were trying to collect all of the starter evolutions. And I think the only one that we're missing is Venusaur now. Um, just for my little personal OCD, I want to try and get the, all three of the revolves. So we do have a spinner rack here and this is exactly what I was on about. Um, so you can see here at the bottom there is a little ditto logo. Um, now these cards are peelable so we're just going to check the ray. Um, so we do have a hollow there. So we're just going to pop this in a sleeve while we talk about the um, ditto card. So they are a reverse hollow. They are a little bit thicker than standard cards um, and they have this little ditto logo at the bottom. Now you can peel them off to reveal a ditto card underneath. Just like sometimes on the Pokemon Go, you can catch a Pokemon and it can turn into a ditto and you're not too sure which one you've got. So we're just going to sleeve that for now because this is my only and first one so far. Um, but that is kind of what people are looking for at the minute. They are really satisfying. Um, but when they are um, peeled off, they do lose their value. So I would like to keep one sealed as well. So we're going to jump into pack number three. So I believe there's only two types of cards. I think it's a spinner act and a normal maybe. Um, that can actually be the ditto cards. So I'm super excited to have one of those. We have a psychic energy. So I don't think we've seen that Steelix before. So super excited to still be getting some new cards included. We've had a lot of wind pods today. And again, like these designs with the Pokemon walking next to his trainer, um, really does take me back to when I was out playing Pokemon Go. We have our reversed hollow Sylveon. And our rare is the Charizard. Very, very cool, flying through the city there. So again, place our hollows in penny sleeves. And we can move on to the next pack. So I'm super happy with the Ditto so far. Hopefully we can get a few more full arts as well. Um, so we're on to pack four. Make sure all of our cards are out of the way. Don't want to cut any by mistake. I've seen that there are many people that do that online by accident sometimes. So let's be careful. And the energy is a steal again. So we have the Egg Incubator again, very unique to Pokemon Go and its play style. Some very, very cool cards. I'm super excited to learn about this set. Uh, I like the little odd spin-off sets like this and the um, 25 year one. The much smaller but really, really cool designs. We have our reverse hollow Pikachu. And our rare is the hollow Sylveon. So we just got the Sylveon in a reverse hollow. And now we have it in a standard hollow as well. Our next pack. So they're not the easiest cards to come by these at the moment where I live. Um, <clears throat> So I can't imagine I'm going to be able to get my hands on a lot of these compared to some of the other sets that are available. Um, so I'm just hoping to kind of get the best pulls that I can whilst I do have them. We have a dark energy there. Still hoping for a Venusaur. Um, we have the War Turtle. Very cute. Followed by a Squirtle. Um, hopefully we can get maybe something radiant from these sets as well. So we do have the normal, but you can see there's no ditto down here. So this isn't one of the cards that will peel off. We have the reverse hollow Sylveon again. And our rare is the Articuno. <clears throat> now again, I was trying to collect the three birds 
um, just as part of their own kind of like little set as well just to make sure I have one of each and I think Articuno is the one that we're missing I know we have Zapdos but I'm not too sure about the other but I think Articuno is the one that we were missing so that's awesome always happy to add a new card and we're down to our final pack <coughs> excuse me um, so hopefully we can get some last pack magic, pull one of those full art cards, maybe something a little bit rarer. One of the alternate arts would be would be super cool, um, but we're happy with anything here as always. We're going to take our four from the back. The energy is water. And we're just going to check through some of these cards that we've got. Again, starting to get some duplicates of these now because the sets are a little bit smaller than some of the others available. Um, but always happy for extras. We have our reverse hollow, and our final rare for the box is a hollow Tyranitar. So we didn't get anything too um, exciting. We didn't get any full art or anything in them. Them six boosters. But we did manage to get some really, really cool hollows and reverse hollows in there as well. Um, so in the box we did get our six boosters. We got our pin and we also got our spark promo card. Some of the reverse hollows and hollows that we got. Again, some really cool designs like the Articuno. We have Sylveon a few times, Pikachu. The Charizard again, it glistens in the sun, lovely. Um, again, the Pikachu is the same, really gorgeous card. So we got some hollows and reverses. And then we did manage to pull our first Ditto card. So this is the only one I have so far. So if you've not seen these being peeled, check them out online. They are really, really cool and unique kind of Pokemon card. Um, so definitely if you see one with a Ditto on the bottom, keep hold of them because um, they are very very unique so that is everything we managed to pull today and that was everything included so let me know in the comments below whether you think it's worth it and what team you're part of on pokemon go and i'll be back soon with another video so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye